Welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric. <coughs> Welcome new subscribers, old subscribers, new viewers. <coughs> oh, God, I had to clear my throat. I'm so sorry. I'm not clearing it over the food. Let me say this. Uh, I had a subscriber that asked me, how do I do uh, pot roll? So what I'm going to show you all today is how I make, how I do my pot rolls. I do pot roll. So the first thing I have two uh, chunk roasters right here, as you all can see. Hope you all can see, you know, me and this camera. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little seasoning salt and I'm going to season them with a little seasoning salt. Hope you all can see. I got a skillet over with a little oil in it, heating up. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to braise them. Sear them or sear them or braise them. I'm a sear them. I got a little garlic powder I'm going to sprinkle on them. On both sides. And you are just the way I do my pot roasts. And you will see. Uh, I'm going to, I, I did a, a pork roast in the crock pot. I did a pork roast, I think, a while back. And I'm going to do uh show you how i do the pot rolls i kind of do them the same way i just i but i'm gonna braise it this time and uh i'm going to do it in the cropper but you could do it in the oven i'm gonna do it in the cropper because th this can be cooking while i go do other things so you see i got i got it in the skillet i'm gonna let it brown on both sides as you all can see You know, uh, well, that's brazen. Answer a few questions. You know, so I had people like actually, so you know, what motivates you to cook? You know, what motivates me to cook is people. People enjoying what I do, enjoying uh, uh, what I'm making, and them, them enjoying eating it. You know, um, I also had a video, I think one of the last videos I did. You know, I have a cat. And somebody uh, responded like, oh, he got a cat. Let me tell you all something. People that know me know that that cat, every time I cook, I put the cat outside. Trust me, I put the cat outside. Mariah let the cat in, I think, while I was doing the video. And when I rewatched the video, I saw the cat run over in the corner. But I have a cat. People know I do not like mice. And where I live, I live like within the forest preserve. My house sits on, um, like, the fourth resort is right in the back of my house. So, so you know, um, they have what they call field mouse. And I do, I, let me, I have moved because of mice. So, everybody knows that I do not like mice. I really don't like cats either, but I take a cat over a mouse any day. So, I just thought I'd get that little bit of information. Why I live, I live uh, a few blocks from the beach, then there's a big old pond. Also by where I live, and I live kind of like within the forest preserve. So, you know, I got deers in my background. Deers be on my on my patio. Raccoon, they come and eat the cat food up all the time. Cause I sit the cat outside and there's food be in the uh, patio. You can see the whole family of raccoons eating up the cat food. So, I just thought I'd give people that little tidbit about me and why, you know, where I live. I love where I live. It's a beautiful home. It's a beautiful, you know, uh, landscape and everything. But, you know, when you live within the woods, there are going to be field mouses. So I would not take a chance of having a mouse enter to my home. Now, why am I talking about mice that I'm cooking? I'm so sorry, but I'm just keeping it real. You know, so that's I wonder for those that comment about the cat, they saw the cat. The cat is always outside when I'm doing video. Even when I'm cooking, when I'm entertaining, when I have family and friends over. My family do not like cats. So when they come, I have to put the cat out anyway. So that, I just wanted to clear that up. But once again, we're doing this pot roast. So we got it. Uh, 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 I'm searing it. I'm going to turn it over. 
And now this is a big old pot roll. And you see, look how nice, look at that, how nice a sear it is. You see that? See how nice that is? So I seared it. And you can see that color of it. I'll get a close up of it. See that? So I'm going to sear this other one, and then we're going to go to the next phase. Okay, so we got that sear in the other one. So now, what I do, get y'all a little closer. What I do, Oh, that's the, um, okay, so now we got our meat in the, uh, pot. Now what I, the next step I do is I take some hot sauce, just some hot sauce, and I put it on top. Then I take some ketchup, if you all can see. Oh, why well, ain't got the top off of it? I take some ketchup, if you all can see. And you all, this is the way my mother taught me how to do it. My mom, this is the way she did her roast. Look this over. Look at that. Isn't that a nice color? And then I take, I got some onion, green pepper, and celery. So I take it. I got the layer of you all because I got this, this crop pot. And I just put it. Then I take me a little. Plus red pepper, put it on top. And then I wait for the next one. See? Now you want all I want to do is sear it. See? The nice sear you have. Okay, and I set the other one on top. And then I start the whole process over again. See, hot sauce. Believe it or not, this is the way my mother and father did their roast. Ketchup. Then the rest. Now, if I, if I was going to put white potatoes, I would put those in there. I would let it cook for about three or four hours. Then I would come back with some white potatoes, but I'm not going to put white potatoes in it. And then I sprinkle a little of my crushed red pepper. Now I'm going to add a little water. I just clicked because this was all the um, water from the, the uh, what's the name bottle. And then I'm going to add a little minced garlic. I love garlic, you all. I think I put garlic in just about everything. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this also in the crock pot. As you all can see it a little closer. I'm going to put this in the crock pot. 
and then I'm going I'll get back to you with the finished product. I'm going to let this cook in the crock pot for about five hours till it's tender.